Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review. This time we're doing a different series of movie reviews called the Quick Quarantine Movie Reviews. These are movies that normally I would say skip and I wouldn't watch at all, any way, shape, form, or fashion. But we're doing nothing and we need movies to watch. So let's check out a couple of them. So first up, we have Survive the Night, starring Bruce Willis, Chad Michael Murray. And I would say that's about it. And there's no one else in this movie. Ah! Uh, wow. Shane Buckner, because he plays the main villain, so we're going to add him into this. Quickly, here's the synopsis of this movie. A doctor and his family are held hostage by a wounded gunman and his unhinged brother. So, if you've seen any movie with a home invasion, or any movie with Bruce Willis and a home invasion, you've seen Survive the Night. Literally the same concept. Here we have Chad Michael Murray playing a disgraced doctor. He's forced with his family to move back in with his parents. We are not really given a true explanation why any of this had to happen, but it happens. Then we have the crazy gunman, one led by Mr. Shane Buckner, the other one played by Troy Olsen, who is the smart brother in this one. Magically, for some odd reason, they decide to hold up a convenience store. In the mix of holding up the convenience store, Mr. Shane Buckner's character, whose name is Jamie, decides to kill a pregnant woman when the shop owner woo, won't put his weapon down. And this happens in the first 10 minutes of the movie. So in the first 10 minutes of the movie, you get one of the most outrageous death scenes for no apparent reason. During that whole time, the shop owner who can't shoot a gun to save his life manages to shoot uh, Troy Olsen's character in the leg and manages to hit nothing else. And in the process of him hitting nothing else, Shane Buckner character who magically also hits nothing else and he has a magic revolver that should only have six shots but for some odd reason through this movie it goes through having 12 to 50 shots in this revolver. Mm -hmm. And he ends up killing the shopkeep. And then they decide hey, you need to be stitched up. So know what we're going to do? We're going to find a doctor that we know, but we don't know why we know this doctor, and go to his house and have him save your life. And all the craziness ensues after that with Bruce Willis doing Bruce Willis things. Bruce Willis looks at him, he stares madly, he wants to kill them madly, he does everything Bruce Willis needs to do in a movie. If you've seen Hostage by Bruce Willis, you possibly have seen this movie, it's kind of the same thing, except for Chad Michael Murray is actually the lead in this movie as the doctor forced to save the life and make sure his family is safe. Utter ridiculousness here. <laughs> This is definitely a movie. There's no way in heck I would ever watch it. But we have not too many movies to watch, man. And it's a thriller. And if you like thrillers and you like home invasion films and you kind of like Bruce Willis, check it out. Survive the Night. I'm giving it out of a possible 10, a 4.5 out of 10. Three of that 4.5 automatically goes to Bruce Willis. The other 1.5 goes to just the ridiculousness of the movie in general. It is something that if you need to buy time for about an hour, 40 minutes, check it out. You might like it. This has been another JVS movie review. Quarantine edition. Name of the movie, Survive the Night, available right now on VOD. Peace, people.